Jimmy. Patty. I get to spend some time with you this afternoon. Finally. So, you know, an interesting question was asked of me earlier. Do tell. Client loses her custody case. You know, and, and I don't like the word lose, okay? Nobody really loses, okay? And it's not about losing. But she didn't get as much parenting time well, as she I, wanted. Well, most of the time with the kids, the more that people fight about it, the kids are the ones that lose. Oh, absolutely. But what would you suggest I tell her? What kind of advice do you give to clients when they don't get what they want in a custody dispute or modification um, or they don't get as much time as they want? Well, it, it's always very difficult because so much of, of what has come to that point is, all right, what did we talk about before we ever even came to a judge who ultimately ended up deciding what this was? You know, what had the parties been exercising before? Had there been any sort of agreement? Had there been a temporary? And it, it's very difficult to tell people hey, here's what you should be okay with when it's not what they want. Yeah, you know, some of the things that I tell clients is that it's not the quantity of time, it's the quality of the time. So it's what, you, it's what you do with yep. your time. I mean, you, you know, we, Steve and I have a 12-year-old daughter. She has no use for us, you know, so we get, you know, we really get probably about five minutes of quality time a oh, day. And, it, and, and it's amazing even in the last year, the way that, it, it, it's amazing the way kids progress. So, so people are like, yeah, you know, I need all this time with my child. Do you really, you know, and are you focusing about what you're do, doing mm -hmm. during that time? The other thing I tell parents who may not have gotten as much time as they want is um, you know there's a lot of times there's heart there's hurt feelings mm -hmm. there's there's I'm upset I'm mad uh, but not to share that with the children don't communicate that with the children and communication is not just verbal it's it's body language it's how you act around the other parent you 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 be gracious you be happy with what you get well and and so much of that is it's more about the former spouse than it actually is oh, sure. the child. Yeah. You know, you know, another thing I tell a lot of my clients, um, whether they, whether they win or lose, um, with the custody case, mm -hmm. a lot of times what I tell them, because they, a lot of times they come to me and they say, well, you know, she's not going to exercise all that time that she got, you mm -hmm. know, I'm going to end up watching the kids or, you know, vice versa. And I tell them, well, keep track of that. Number yeah, one, absolutely. you know, if, if, if she's going to offer you more time with the kids, take it, take it. Yeah. You know, you want time with your children, take it, um, and then keep track of it. If you get more time, then just keep track of that, and maybe that will be a basis for a future modification. Yeah, and, and it's one of those, you don't want to tell people to, hey, live your life like you are planning for future litigation, but also just be mindful of these things. Absolutely. And if you have more questions, feel free to give us a call here at Shoemaker and Shoemaker. Thanks, Jimmy.